Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the grade categories for Google Classroom so that you can separate the grades by marking period. So in Google Classroom, you can always set the grade categories by clicking the setting here. That's the gear icon on top. So just click it. And if you scroll down, you will see that you can enter grade categories such as classwork, homework, quizzes, and exams. So for my first marking period, I entered these categories, but I did not separate it by marking periods. So the trick I use here is now that I'm done with my first marking period, I'm going to add MP1 space in front of each category. And then I'm going to change all the percentages to zero. And now what I need to do is I just need to add new grade category, but this time I'm going to copy the names and change it to marking period two. So I'll put MP2 and I will put the grade percentages I desire and I'll just do the same thing so for classwork and participation I put 40% for second marking period and then I just add another one for homework and project which is 40% quizzes I put 10% and exams I put 10% because this year we um, some students are learning from uh, from home or because um, it's really hard for them to you know learn during this pandemic so I try to make the grade uh, easier for them so I put 10% for exam now you see the remaining percentage is 0% so now I'm going to click save And these are the assignments that I assigned during the first marking period. As you see, as soon as I change it, it becomes MP1 classwork or MP1 homework. But if you um, go back to the beginning of my video, you could see it didn't have the MP1. All right. So if I scroll up to the top, the newest assignment is actually for marking periods too. So I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to add this to MP2 class uh, homework and projects and click save. So let's see if anything changes when we click the grades. So now when I click the grades, you see that overall grade for each per student says no grade uh, because now you can only see the grades for the second marking periods. So let's say I go back to classwork and I give one of the students a full score, 35 of 35, and I return it. And then I'm going to go back to grades. Now you see that this student that I just gave a grade to, his grade is 100% because he only had one assignment and he submitted and he got 100. That's why he got 100%. And that's my trick of doing different marking periods on Google Classroom.